Here at Kitronic, we have a number of amplifier kits. These range from very simple amplifier kits like this mono amplifier you can see here with a single speaker output. Here's an example of it cased. Through to more complicated kits such as our Bluetooth amplifier or our high power amplifier. Again, we can see these cased here. So in this video, we'll compare the different kits that we sell and you can see the different features of them. So here we have our entry level mono amplifier kit. It's quite a basic kit, not too many parts. We do this in two versions. This is the self-solder version where you have to connect these components here. We also do a pre-built version where these parts are pre-mounted for you. But on both versions, you still need to connect the speaker, the audio cable, and the battery box. The kit can output one watt of power, and is powered by two AA batteries. To say the connection to the device uses this 3.5 mm jack here, and it has a single paper cone speaker. The PCB doesn't have any audio control on it, so in this version, the level of the audio, the volume, is controlled by the device to which you connect this lead to. So here we have the next kit in our range, which is a stereo amplifier kit. The PCB is slightly larger, it has more components on, um, but this time it can power two speakers, hence being stereo. So we have two paper cone speakers, they're the same speakers that we have in our mono amplifier kit. Again we have a 3.5mm jack to connect to your audio device. This time power is provided by a 9 volt battery, so we have a clip here to connect to this style battery. And again we do this in two versions, so we have the self-solder version where you have to solder these parts in, we do a pre-built version where these are soldered for you, but in both cases you still need to connect the speaker and external wires. This kit can output about 1 watts per channel, depending upon the voltage of the battery you're using, and outputs a nice quality sound. So now we step up to the deluxe version of our stereo amplifier kit. As you can see again the PCB's got slightly bigger, and there's more features here. It actually uses the same chip that we use on the stereo amplifier kit, so the sound quality is exactly the same. And we use the same speakers, the same battery connection, again for a 9 volt battery, and the same 3.5 millimeter audio jack. But on this kit we do have a few extra features. So we have a power switch that's built on here. We have a power LED. So here this is mounted on the PCB, but you could mount this on wires if you want to put it somewhere else on your case. We also have the option to additionally power it if we want to using a DC power supply, using this socket here. And we also have a volume control on the kit. This is a standard style pot and we can, you can purchase additional knobs that slide on here to make the product look nice when you've cased it. As before, this is available in a self-solder kit, or we do do a pre-built version where all of the components on the PCB are pre-soldered for you. So now we move on to our 3 watt Class D amplifier kit. So Class D refers to the technology used within the amplifier chip. It's, it's a much more advanced or more modern style of amplifier circuitry than we've seen on the previous kits. This means that we can have a high level of audio output. In this case, it can provide three watts of output, but from a much lower voltage. So here, this allows us to use three AA batteries. But the real benefit is this kit can also be powered using a micro USB power supply, which you can plug in here. And the switch here allows you to turn it off, or you can switch between USB power off or being powered from the batteries should you wish. You can see the power LEDs come on now. now. This kit can provide 3 watts of power. Because of that we've supplied it with a much better quality of speaker and the audio output on this is much superior to the previous kits we've seen. Again, it uses a 3.5mm audio jack to connect into your audio equipment. Like before we have volume control and a power LED mounted on the PCB here and again this could be mounted on wires if you want to place it elsewhere. Extremely good quality kit with some very nice Visiton which are a German brand speaker. So now we have our high power amplifier kit which you can see here. This kit can actually output up to 15 watts of power making it extremely loud. Because of this we need a heat sink on the amplifier I see here because it can get very warm in use. The kit is supplied as a self-solder kit, so we solder these parts on and we have terminal blocks for connecting speakers and the power inputs, which we can see soldered to a jack here. 
PCB incorporates volume control, a power switch and a power LED. And connectivity is using a 3.5mm audio jack. Typically power is supplied using something like this 12 volt supply which would plug into the jack. With a 12 volt supply you will get the 15 watts of power. Um, alternatively you can buy the kit just as this PCB, provide your own power supply and your own choice of speakers. If you buy the kit as standard which we do supply with speakers, these would be the speakers you get. Again these are by Visiton, that German brand and these are extremely good speakers. And here we've got an example where we've mounted them into a laser cut case. And you can see the PCB is mounted on the top here so we've got access to the volume control. So this is a really good kit if you're looking for a very loud, high quality output from your uh, amplifier. Lastly, we have our Bluetooth amplifier kit, which you can see here. So here's a little Bluetooth module, which is at the heart of the kit. The amplification is done using the 3-watt amplifier IC that we used on our Class D amplifier discussed earlier. And then we have speaker outputs, power switches, an indicator LED, and different ways in which we can power the kit itself. So this kit's quite nice in that you can connect a LiPo battery, should you wish, to make a portable design. As you see here, this will power the speaker up, power the, the kit up. Alternatively, we can power it using a micro USB power supply like this. And if we've got the LiPo battery connected and we're using this, we'll actually cause the LiPo battery to be charged up. So you can leave this permanently in a case if you want and create a rechargeable amplifier. We sell the kit in three different ways. As a PCB on its own, or we have two choices of speakers. The choices of speakers that we include are this one here, sort of the small four-own Visiton speaker, it's very nice, or we include the larger 100mm eight-ohm Visiton speakers using a high-power high amplifier kit. Well, if you want to do something different, you can buy just the PCB and parts and connect your own speakers. So an example here, we have used a Mylar speaker, which might be good if you've got a design that's being used outside and you require the moisture resistance of a Mylar speaker. The audio quality is very good. You can connect to your audio device over Bluetooth. Very simple to do, very simple to pair. And off you go. So you've built your very own Bluetooth amplifier kit.